So on the menu for this video is tri-tip. And if you've watched my videos long enough, you know that tri-tip is one of my favorite things to grill up, to smoke up. And I think it was really maybe even the first cooking video that I did on my channel, like over five years ago now. And I'm gonna be doing two tri-tips today because I'm gonna be seeing which one I wanna use for a recipe tomorrow. So I'm actually gonna be seasoning and cooking it today and then I wanna chill it down overnight to use it in a recipe tomorrow. And each tri-tip I'm gonna be seasoning a different way. We're gonna be doing a wet rub and a dry rub. Not really a marinade for the wet rub. That's something that's gonna sit in for hours and hours and hours, even overnight and a little bit thinner. This is gonna be an oil-based wet rub. So let's get started on that first. We're gonna start with half a teaspoon of kosher salt, half a teaspoon of a coarsely ground black pepper, half a teaspoon of granulated garlic, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Seems like a pattern here, half a teaspoon of everything, but not this, a quarter teaspoon of chili powder. And finally, the central component of this wet rub, a tablespoon of black garlic. Now I took this black garlic, I broke it down a little bit in my mortar and pestle, just to get some of the larger pieces broken down. Really good sort of nutty flavor to this if you've never had it. And black garlic is made sort of in a fermentation process over a long period of time. I've never made it. I may try sometime, but it takes a long time, like 10 days, two weeks, three weeks. Now I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of olive oil. And then we're just gonna mix everybody together here. We just want a nice paste that'll adhere to the meat. All right, that's looking good. Let's get our tri-tips out here. We'll get this on one of them and a dry rub that I have on another one. So here's one of our tri-tips. Both of these are roughly the same size. They are USDA Choice tri-tips. I'm not gonna do any more trimming on them. A Little bit of fat on the other side, but I'm not worried about that. And I'm gonna do the dry rubbed one first because if some gets on the tray here and I put the other one on here, I'm not worried about that. And what I'm using is Texas Brisket Coffee Rub from Q42. It's good surface moisture on here, so don't really need a binder. Make sure you get the edges. If you've never used a coffee rub on beef or on anything, really good. And you might be asking yourself, well, what are you gonna use one of these tri-tips in a recipe for? What's it gonna be? Well, you have to wait and see. I mean, it will be in this video, but it's gonna be at the end of this video. Because like I said, I have to let it chill overnight. All right, that's looking good. Let me move this out of the way and we'll get our other tri-tip here. We'll just move this rub over to the side here. And we're just gonna pour it on. Get about half on this side. This black garlic is such a great flavor. And you can see why this is called a wet rub and not a marinade because it's not really gonna be swimming in it like you would in a marinade. This is just gonna to adhere to the surface. Just like that. All right, this is gonna join our other tri-tip. It's gonna go in the refrigerator for probably two to three hours. That's all the time it needs. And then we'll fire up the Weber kettle and we're gonna smoke these up, bring them inside, have a taste, decide which one I wanna use for this recipe. And then we'll move on to that tomorrow. All right, the Weber kettle is up to temp. I want this somewhere between 275 and 300 today. We're gonna put some hickory chunks on for some smoke today, but let's get these tri-tips on. Got the Mallory cast iron grade and I'm using the Mallory firewall today. Got a nice two zone setup. Gonna get a temp probe in here. And since these are both generally the same size, I just need to probe one of them. I know that didn't sound right. I need to probe one of them. Let's get our hickory chunks on here.
All right, let's get the lid on, get smoking. I'm gonna do my 110 sear method on this. So when these hit 110 internal, we're gonna sear them, move them back in direct until they get to 130 internal, and then I will pull them. So I'll see you back here when we hit 110 internal. All right, we are just at about 110 degrees internal. Let's go ahead and sear these tri-tips. Just gonna get a little sear on these and especially the one here with the black garlic, I'm not gonna do that too much. I don't wanna burn that. That is good. Pop the temperature probe out temporarily. Again, this one's not gonna go for very long. Just wanna get a quick sear on it. Just a little extra color. All right. Get our probe back in as close as we can. That's looking good, showing about 115. Let's get our lid on, let these finish to 130. All right, we have just hit 130 degrees. Let's check our tri-tip and by check it, I mean look at it because I've done these so many times with this method. I know they're ready for my liking at 130 degrees. Those are looking great. Let's get our temp probe out. What I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna put them in a foil pan, cover that with foil, and they're gonna rest for half an hour. Then we're gonna slice in, and I'll decide which one I wanna use in this recipe tomorrow. So I'll see you inside in about half an hour. So here are our two tri-tips. We have our black garlic wet rub here, and our Q42 dry rub here. And this is just gonna be a quick taste test because I need to decide which one of these I'm gonna use in a recipe tomorrow. It needs to chill down overnight. So let's just go ahead, cut in and get a taste of each. Now I've got my cutting board flipped over with the juice groove here because we may have a little bit of a juice lunch. We'll see. So I'm just gonna cut each one in half first. Let's start with our dry rub here. Oh, looking nice. And I'm just gonna cut a really thin slice of this just for tasting in a minute here. Put that right up there, that's our dry rub. Now let's cut from our wet rub. Let's see, oh yeah, nice. Cameras don't always capture it, but to me this is the perfect pink medium rare. Oh, looks good. All right, let me cut a slice of this too. So this is our wet rub. All right, so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna taste the dry rub. Here we go. Mmm, nice flavor, really good hickory smoke on this. Mmm. Now for our wet rub. Let's see. Mmm, that black garlic rub is so nice on this. If you can get some of that black garlic, use it in rubs. It's just so terrific. Mm. I gotta say, for me, it's gonna be the wet rub today. That black garlic wet rub. Really enjoy the flavor of this, and I think it's gonna go great in this dish that I'm gonna be putting together tomorrow. So we'll fast forward this about 24 hours, and, and we'll start making it right now. So our wet rubbed tri-tip has been chilling overnight, and now it is time to put it to use. What am I gonna be making today? Well, I'm gonna be making one of my favorite things at a restaurant we go to, which is the tri-tip salad. Combines the best of both worlds, some of that great beef and something maybe a little healthy, but it tastes fantastic. And the first thing we gotta get done is the dressing, which is a balsamic vinaigrette. Now we're starting with half a cup of olive oil in this jar. Using a jar is a really simple way to make dressings and vinaigrettes, things like that. You just get it in there, put the lid on and shake it. To this, I'm gonna add a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar. We're also gonna add about a teaspoon of honey. A 
And I just wanna say that if you see a fly diving in here to go for some of this goodness, I've been trying to get this guy for half an hour and I finally had to give up and just start filming. So I'm not gonna let him get any. He didn't work for it. We're also gonna add about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. We've got a teaspoon of minced garlic. About a tablespoon of some not quite diced red onion. We've got a quarter teaspoon of a coarsely ground black pepper and a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. Put their lid on and shake. That's how easy it is to make a nice vinaigrette dressing. All right, let's get our tri-tip out here and slice it up. So here's a hunk of our tri-tip, and what I wanna do first is I wanna break it down into three sort of sections because when I slice it, I want the pieces to be about bite size. So I'm just going to go about here and about here. And then we are just going to go across here. And you can make them as thin, as thick as you want. Totally up to you. This is what I'm looking for. Let's start building this tri-tip salad. So I have a nice bowl of greens here. It's just a mixture of different things, regular lettuce, uh, some spinach leaves. The first thing I want to do is get some of our ingredients mixed in before we add sort of the main players. So I've got some sliced red onion here. And all I want to do here is just sort of mix these in first. I just find it's easier with your hands like this. Now I want to get some cherry tomatoes that have been cut in half. These just have such a nice look to them, a nice pop of color. And I could eat these things like candy. I just love the taste of really good fresh tomatoes. Also want to add some blue cheese crumbles here. Not too much, just enough for a little bit of that nice blue cheese bite, that flavor. Now I want to add some of our dressing, but not all of it yet. Just get a nice little drizzle in here. Save, I don't know, maybe a third of it. Want some toasted pecans here. You can use any kind of nut you want, really. Almonds are good, walnuts are good, but I'm partial to pecans in salads like this. Finally, our tri-tip. We're gonna load this up, because it is a tri-tip salad. Now I wanna get in here and mix this part all up again. Get that salad dressing distributed, get some of that tri-tip distributed before we top this off. A little bit more of our blue cheese on top now. We have the blue cheese and everything mixed in, and now we're just sort of garnishing the top. Some more pecans on top and some more tri-tip on top. So we have the tri-tip mixed in and tri-tip on top here. This tri-tip turned out just perfect the way I like it. Nice medium rare. Hopefully you can see that sort of pinkish center. And now a little bit more of our balsamic vinaigrette on top of the tri-tip and everything else. Just a little more blue cheese on top here. Just a little bit. And there we have it, our tri-tip salad. I'm gonna have a taste. All right, I've got a little bowl right here. Let's dive in. I'm gonna get just some lettuce and tomatoes first before the tri-tip. Let's see. Mm. Those really nice, fresh, sweet tomatoes with that sweetness of the balsamic, just works perfectly. But now let's have a taste of that tri-tip with the balsamic vinaigrette on it. Mmm. The one thing that's really standing out is that smoky flavor. It came through nicely. Sometimes it's a little more mild when you're doing this on the kettle, but this time it came out perfect. I'm loving this. 